Hello YouTube family, my name is Aditya and you are watching the DevOps guy. This video is all about the Linux booting process. So what really happened when we power on the Linux machine? Today we will get the clear image of the process behind it. The process start when we press the power button to turn on the computer and the first program is called as BIOS. It stands for basic input output system. It is a piece of software that get all the main part of your computer ready for the action. I am talking about the monitor, keyboard, hard drives and so on. Next is POST. POST is a power on self test. This test makes sure whether everything is working right before fully turn on. If POST find any problem, it will show you an error message on the screen. Finally, if everything check out with POST, the BIOS need to find and load up the bootloader software. The bootloader is usually set to check the hard drive first, then USB driver if does not find anything on the hard drive. On a BIOS system, the bootloader code lives in the first sector of the hard drive called as MBR. MBR stands for master boot record. The key job of bootloaders are locate the OS kernel on this disk load the kernel into the computer memory, start running the kernel code. Grep2 and Lilo are the most common bootloaders. Once Grep2 load itself up, it inserts the Linux kernel into the memory and hand control over the kernel to finish the startup process. After the bootloader start the kernel, the kernel take over and the computer resources start initiating all the background processes and services. First, it decompress itself into memory check the hardware and load the devices and other kernel modules. Next is an initial process called init kickoff, which in modern Linux called typically systemd. Systemd has replaced older init systems like sys, winit and upstart. It is parent of all other processes on Linux. Systemd has ton of responsibilities to get the system booted and ready to use. It's checking for any remaining hardware that needs driver loaded. It mount up all your different file systems and disks so they have accessible. It is start launching all the background services you need like networking, sound, power management. It handles user login once you get the other graphical prompt and it loads your desktop environment with the panel and menus. Systemd uses target configuration file to decide which mode it should be booting into. Something basic like multi-user text only target or the graphical target most of us use daily. Mostly now you just need to know about Systemd handles initializing everything that needed to launch behind the scene when starting up Linux. And here you have it. We have unpacked a sequence of events that transform your computer hardware into your functioning Linux system when you press the power button on. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.